Kelly. Good afternoon, everyone. A wider perspective needed on this showpiece sporting occasion. Echoed by both clubs, the events in Ukraine clouding our minds, said Chelsea's Thomas Tuchel on Friday. Frightening was one emotive word resonating from the equivalent Liverpool press conference. And both captains come out carrying wreaths. Yeah. The late addition to their substitute list. 18-year-old Harvey Elliott. Here's Chelsea against Liverpool for the first domestic trophy of the season. And it's live! Well, I absolutely love this game in the Premier League early on in the season. One of the great games that we've seen. It's always deafening this occasion with uh, getting on for 35,000 fans from each club in the stadium. Savage drives on. Oh, what a chance for Pulisic. There's no offside. Not trying to clear his head, Christian Pulisic. I'm not converting this. If anything, Pulisic is a great technician, but he just lacks that little bit of ruthlessness that the likes of Mane and Salah have. This season. He didn't want it to finish that day, and it, let's hope it carries on in the same vein here. Going through what would be a remarkable February hat-trick. Set up for Salah, more central. But, uh, he didn't wrap a foot round it. No, they were whispering. Yeah. Talent, but so is Trent Alexander-Arnold with the delivery with the cross. And there is uh, the first real side of goal for Liverpool and Sadio Mane trying to play centre-forward himself. Back by Robertson. Here's a corner. It's not a corner. It's a, game of corner. it's a great cross from Roberts. Oh, Shot by Kenneth, pushed out to Mane. Oh, oh, goodness me. Edward Mendy. Not in too many newspapers would you have had his name in the prospective team lineups. Keller has coming a long way. A very, very positive goalkeeping. Here's Havertz. Pulisic, Thiago Silva stepping forward, oh, and that could have gone anywhere. Good by Aspel Quetta. Well, Kelleher looked round with a yeah. bit of concern. Here's Havertz, and another chance goes a begging. Mason Mount covered so much ground to get there and bang in front of goal, he couldn't find it. I think the assistant referee put his flag up, but... Well, Stuart Atwell, follow-up was the real chance for Liverpool for Sadio Mane. There's been uh, a lot of aggressive intent, attacking intent, but at half-time at Wembley in the Carabao Cup final 2022, it's Chelsea nil, Liverpool nil. Keep it compact and then win the ball as high as possible when they had the second chance and get them on, on, on the break. In terms of actual chances, Chelsea have been on top, but in terms of the general game, Liverpool have been on top. They've looked a better team. So we're underway. And let's see. And there's that no flag here. Oh, an opportunity. And Mason Mount again. Late in the first half, early in the second half. This time the frame of the goal. They are getting a bit closer, but not close enough for Thomas Tuchel. No, they've had three huge chances. Hater was brought in, and here's Kai Havertz, the scorer of big goals in the finals. Oh, very nearly the provider of a chance for a big goal for Chelsea in this final. But as it couldn't make contact. Well, it was good play all round. But... Fantastic from Havertz. The 28, read 24. Change 
good direction from Diaz. And again, and he gets a corner out. They're in here and they've got the right man in the right place. And it's off the line from Salah. Thiago Silva with one of the recovery runs. Well, I'm not sure it's going in anyway. You think him? Here comes Mount. For Havertz. For Mount. Well, he's getting into scoring positions. Well, the Gobson's covering at the back. He's taken by Alexander Honnell round the back. Quarter mark of the final. It was bluff, counter bluff, and then a very well worked free kick. Well, maybe it was a ploy. Well, it's oh, it could be check. offside. He's going to have a look. Stuart Atwell. The question is, is Van Dyke interfering? He certainly is because he holds off. VAR giving it the oh, ball. The goal is disallowed, it is the referee's call, he gets a second look at it, and Matip is denied. It's against Virgil van Dijk, the crowd gets on the back on the far side. Kent tumbling in, it is going to be a foul this time. Well, it was about this moment in the first half that the game swung towards Liverpool, it feels like it's happening again. Bring to their minds as he comes on to defend on the edge of the penalty area in front of them. And the German coach said, Liverpool are definitely firing here. Navi Cater in the middle. Chelsea are being swarmed over at the moment. Well, the atmosphere. Confident starting position again. It's over him and it's round the back. But bypass Chelsea. And Diaz is on his way. And Mendy. Again, keeps it at nil-nil. Take Diaz off, just purely because I thought he'd leave Mane and Salah on the pitch. Not that... Navi Keita got into the team in place of uh, Gordon Henderson off, passes the armband to James Milner. And Elliot's made a wonderful recovery from that by Kovacic. Now it's Werner. Oh, what a save! And now it's in! No, it's not. Been disallowed, Kai Havertz. Yeah, Werner was offside, didn't get back onside. Both. Ooh, and uh, Keller was coming out of pace. Looked to me like he carried it over the lots. Here's Milner. And again. Mandy parries. What a scramble. Anybody down, but here is Romelu Lukaku for Timo Werner. Mount it towards the near post. Van Dijk coming in, pushed out by Mendy. Give, uh, this Carabao Cup final a really dramatic conclusion. Oh. Lukaku, it was a chance for that. And keepers have made big saves. We go to extra time. Today, we have to have a result. Wembley is set for another 30 minutes of the Carabao Cup final with the score after 90, Chelsea nil, Liverpool nil. Perhaps given the, the games they've already played this season, we shouldn't be too surprised with a draw, Jamie. Maybe surprised that this one's goalless, though. Yeah, and I, I can't believe it is goalless, the chances in the game. I mean, it's, it, I think Gary said in commentary, it's been a brilliant nil-nil, and as it's, you felt on edge watching the game throughout. Uh, Chelsea. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, epic so far, and still a conclusion to come. Go so Liverpool start the first period of extra time. And they're still going. Ooh, okay. by Van Dijk, Werner. Close down straight away, and you can see what he was aiming for. Calabar, Romelu Lukaku in for Chelsea. Sets himself, scores for Chelsea! But the flag is up. He has to hold his run. 
about to change, no. No, he's not, he's just gone. He's just gone. Jürgen Klopp speaks very fondly of Divo Carigi. Nothing tight about Havertz. He's still flying. Walks under Arnold's getting acquainted. Oh, and Elliot did. Alexander Arnold and Havertz have done that one where they put their heads against each other once. In he is. Just thought he'd fizz it up a little bit. Maybe just had a little bit of a flick at Havertz on the top. Not very much. Yeah. But they did eyeball each other, as you say. Yeah, I think Trent Alexander Arnold. The end of the first period of extra time in which Chelsea got the ball. No, it hasn't. Listen, we said at the end of 90 minutes it, it had been a brilliant nil-nil and it, it's still the same now. Obviously, 15 more minutes, you know, and uh, hopefully one team can, can win it. Hopefully I, I want Liverpool to win, Jimmy, on my left here. He's jumping for Chelsea, but we'll see. It's been brilliant. Could go either way, Jimmy. It can. Look, uh, both. Well, thank Kelly. On we go. Into the Wembley. Trying to turn this game, which is Lukaku. Oh, what a chance for Havertz! And the flag is up again. Again. Oh. Well, he was all alone. But he can also get run off. It's his pass, his strength there. Into saved uh, four penalties in shootout wins last season. Still fighting and he's won it for himself. Mo Salah can he win the cup for Liverpool at the end? Of Alexander Arnold looking for Origi. Head off to Milner. On to Robertson. Chance for Liverpool here. How long we are away from the penalty shootout? With this one minute. In the most dramatic of circumstances, unless of course. Squeezed away. It is the last play of the game. After a titanic battle between the two German coaches and their teams, we go to penalties for decision time at Wembley. Goals disallowed, the dramatic late inclusion of uh, Kepa Arisa Balaga for the shootout. For the moment, we'll be back, obviously, for the penalties. Back to Kelly in the studio. Yes, a penalty shootout to come here at Wembley. There is going to join our commentary team now, of Gary Neville and Martin Tyler. Well, the, the penalties will be taken at the Liverpool end. And just a reminder of what I told you earlier, twice before these two clubs have been involved in penalty shootouts, Liverpool have won them both. Milner puts it away. The way from Kelleher's goal, Marcus Alonso. Just gets it beyond the bar. Kelleher done. Eyeball to eyeball from 12 yards. Got to have the foot on the line. Second Liverpool penalty for Vino. Makes the nonsense of it. <laughs> oh, he's done it. Oh, penalty. Saved for Everton against Manchester United, but he scored here for Belgium against England. That was much more recently. Here goes Lukaku, a little shimmy, and the job is done, and it's 2 2. Faster, the pulses are racing, and it's Virgil van Dijk who went for power. 3 2, all the penalties converted so far. Yeah, with a bit of a half that look. Again, a little shuffle. Again, it deceives the goalkeeper. And again, a success. Marisa Balaga tries to put him off. Alexander Arnold again. Absolutely drilled in. Having none of. And his competitor England, for England at right back, Rhys James. It looks so easy from here, <laughs> through our cameras. Well, I was nervous for him because I didn't like. Oh, Chelsea Balaga will know that. 
Chelsea fans are giving it some at the opposite end. Here goes Salah, and that's another version of the same technique. Salah's just muttered something to Jorginho on the way past. Well, apart from that, he's very, very good. <laughs> that good. We're seeing penalties scored in all shapes and so he is on the spot, as the ball is on the spot. And it's five all in the shootout. And it's six five Liverpool. The shootout. But Rudiger. Straight run up. And he deceives Kelleher. And the 100% record goes on. 12 out of 20. The one who. Uh, Tilts that fickle feeling about the fate away from the team they represent. And here goes Divock Origi, and it's not him. It rests with Angolo Conte, the number seven of Chelsea's seventh penalty. He doesn't fail. Here he goes. And that bulges again. Chelsea has won a few as well. And it rests with Timo Werner here. Oh, that's as near as we've had to a say. Oh, there were some of those Liverpool players on the halfway line who broke out and thought he'd saved it. I think it went under his hand. Liverpool fan went and watched Liverpool finals, and here he is playing in a final at an absolutely crucial moment. Elliot, oh. nerves of steel. Here he goes, Thiago Silva, the veteran, with the aplomb of a veteran. It was almost yeah. like he seized up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ibrahima Konate against Kepa. Marisa Balaga <laughs> went the right way, but it's gone through his hand. Penalties. 19 have been scored. And Chalaba makes it 20. Well, fair play to all 20 players. Levine Kelleher and Alison watch on. He scored a goal, of course, in the you know, play, well, from a set piece in regulation time at West Brom. And now, Levine Kelleher bangs it in. Wow. And all 11 Liverpool players have was brought on no. to score one. Keeper against keeper. Chelsea have blown it. Liverpool celebrated a record ninth time. Their first domestic cup success for ten years. And they had to go the distance to do it. Commiserations for Kepa. What a finish, Gary. Well, you couldn't separate them all the way through to the end, but for that Kepa penalty, I should say, commiserations to him. But it was some game. Inseparable. Both teams giving it their all, and there always has to be a loser. Unfortunately for Thomas Tuchel and his men, it's them today. And dancing in the studio, one of uh, Liverpool's three-time winner of Liverpool's nine League Cups, Jamie Carragher. Sum that up. Brilliant. Listen, anyone could have won that. You, you couldn't have argued anyway. It was a really tight game. The shootout, some of the penalties were absolutely out of this world, and it fell to the goalkeeper. Well, Liverpool came here challenging for four, four trophies. They've been in such good form, and now they've got one in the bag which adds more thrust to their pursuit of Manchester City in the Premier League and their aspirations 
in, the, in this competition. It is number nine for Liverpool. Carabao Cup winners 2022. To this final, but this has been his competition, Keller's competition. He didn't have to make a save, or he didn't make a save in, in the penalty shootout, but he did score what turned out to be the winning penalty. Yeah, he did. Listen, listen, not just what a night for him, but that team as well. To celebrate at Wembley, no matter what he's done in other competitions in the league, and it was so unfortunate with the situation with the pandemic and having no support. These are, these are moments you, you never forget. You always remember this, the pitches together with your, your teammates or your mates. You know, you'll never forget that.